What we have today here is the VivoBook 15 K513 EQ. This laptop comes equipped with the latest 11 Gen Intel Core i5, 1135G7, and of course, it also boasts the latest Iris Xe graphics. But it is also included with the NVIDIA GeForce MX350 in this laptop. Since Intel's Iris Xe is so powerful, I thought to myself, why not just compare the Iris Xe with the NVIDIA GeForce MX350 and see which one is actually better, right? Because in the end of the day, if you just need one GPU, you don't need the other. But as the title of this video suggests, why not just combine both together? Because that's what's happening to this particular unit of the laptop. Now, I wouldn't call this a review or a comparison per se because I don't know if this is happening to every single unit of the VivoBook 15 K513 EQ but what's happening here is consistent, at least on our end because I've tried it with multiple different versions of drivers and also multiple different versions of BIOS, uh, Windows and all of those stuff. It just consistently happens. So. The gaming experience here is what caught me off guard because it's smoother than the VivoBook S15 S533EA which has a Core i7-1165G7 with the Iris Xe graphics and that laptop can run at a maximum of 28 watts. And what took me off guard here is actually when I run Far Cry New Dawn. On that laptop, Far Cry New Dawn even at its lowest graphical settings 1080p, it cannot maintain 30 FPS but on this laptop, it can. So that got me wondering, what's happening to this laptop? And then I also tried GTA 5, which is another game that I've tried on the VivoBook S15, S533EA. That one isn't really that consistent, but for this laptop, it can run at 60 frames per second, or at least around that range, which is kind of surprising to me because it's, well, it's a laptop of this size, and then it can run GTA 5 at 60 frames per second at its lowest graphical settings. That's impressive. And by the way, I talk about wattage a lot on the 11th gen Intel chips, but for this laptop, I'm not going to touch about its wattage because it's fluctuating all over the place. For some reason, I saw the wattage fluctuating from anywhere between 12, the lowest wattage possible for the higher powered tier of Tiger Lake chips, and all the way up to about 20 watts. So with such huge fluctuations, I wasn't able to pinpoint what is its maximum operating wattage? But that doesn't really matter because from what we found out when we play games on this laptop and then uh, when I realized the frame rate was higher than usual, I looked at Task Manager and then I can see both the Intel Iris Xe and also the Nvidia MX350, both of them are working together. And then what I thought to myself was why not go into the Nvidia control panel and explicitly state the game to run at one GPU only. And this actually partially works and from what we can see like Unigine Superposition Benchmark, it correctly detects the amount of VRAM per respective GPU. So the Iris Xe has 4 gigs of VRAM because the system memory is 8 gigs, so half of that, blah blah blah. And the NVIDIA MX350 has 2 gigs of VRAM. The Unigine Superposition detects it 100% correctly, but when we ran the benchmarks, the scores are exactly the same across both GPUs. So I really can't explain what's going on. It's definitely not a one-time thing because like I mentioned earlier, we tried with different BIOS versions, different driver versions, and even different Windows versions, and the behavior persists across all that we tested. So one potential downside about all these high-performing parts working together is the battery life. So for this laptop here, it has a 47 watt hour battery. Not really that much, but when you combine both iGPU and discrete GPU together, battery life will get even worse. And from what we've tested with the silent power profile, it can only last for about four hours, which is not really that good. But nevertheless, you can play GTA 5 on this laptop with a pretty smooth frame rate at around 60 FPS. Well, you can finish the game from beginning until the end without having much issues. But the question is, are you able to replicate this I wouldn't say issue blessing on your laptop. I'm not too sure. I don't have enough laptops to test, but this is what 
is happening to our unit here. And this laptop is only priced at 3,299 ringgit, by the way. If you don't want the MX350 version, it's 200 ringgit less. But then again, I'm not too sure if the same behavior will persist if you get the exact same model. So yeah, I think that's it. That's all we have to share with you about this video. I know it's a weird behavior, but yeah, that's what's happening. <laughs>